Hi, this is Jan. In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the Devega X DIY kit. So first, let's have a look what's in the kit. Uh, you have the, the base plate and some entry bolts for uh, mounting the hosing to the base plate. Then the housing, uh, the protected glass for the housing. Uh, some bolts and spacers, these are for mounting the, the electronics into the housing. Uh, cable, three buttons and uh, the wires and connectors for the buttons, some heat shrink. Uh, and then we have the, the, the Vega PCB, uh, an ESP32 development board, electrolytic capacitor, some headers, uh, some connectors and the 2.8 inch display. Uh, the assembly consists of a three main step. Uh, first we'll install the, the protective glass into the housing. Uh, next we'll solder these uh, wires and connectors to the push buttons. And then we'll assemble uh, the Deviga PCB and at the end we put it all together. So let me start with installing the protective glass. So let me put everything aside so that we have some space here. To install the protective glass into the housing I use uh, this transparent silicone. Uh, it works really well for it. Uh, the advantage of using the silicone is that it's really easy to remove. So if you need to replace the glass and in fact the kit comes with one spare, it's really easy to do. Uh, you could just as well use epoxy glue, but then it's much harder to replace the glass. Uh, it's a good idea to put the... So, so this one has quite a wide nozzle. So I put it into... I put the silicone into this syringe. And still the nozzle was a bit too wide, so I, I added a piece of heat shrink on it to make it even uh, more narrow. So now let me show you how, how much do I apply. And it depends also on your preferences. If you want to make sure it's waterproof, you'll want to put more. But then again, if you, pet, if you put too much, it may come out of this opening, so it won't look as nice. Okay, so this looks just about right. Let me try to show it on the camera. I hope it's visible. Uh, so next we want to peel off the, the protective paper from, from the glass. So I, use, I use this small screwdriver to get it started. And I only take it off uh, one side when installing. Uh, that's because I don't want to damage it when installing the, the buttons, so I'll remove the other side later. So put it in and just gently push. Okay, we can check if any silicone is coming out. Yeah, it looks good. So now we just let it cure and in the meantime I'll show you the other, the other parts of the assembly. Now let's have a look at how to prepare the buttons. There's not really much to say about it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing worth mentioning is how long should you cut the wires. So you want to make them all slightly different lengths and that's because when you're installing them into the housing uh, they all have a slightly different distance uh, 
between the button and the, the connector. So yeah, this one needs to be slightly longer than this one and this one is the shortest. Uh, so the, the lengths that seem to work pretty well are uh, 20 millimeters for the longest one, then 18 for the middle one and 16 for the shortest. Uh, you don't want to make them shorter than that. If you make them a little longer, that should still be fine. So let me cut this one 20 millimeters. This one 18. And I cut the heat shrink about uh, 10 millimeters. Okay, so now I want to strip the insulation. Let me just solder it to the button. 